Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Technology Explored. My name is Usman Chaudhary and uh, this is the part number 7 of SolidWorks complete, number, uh, complete learning course and in the previous video we had learned the standard mates in the SolidWorks assemblies and from this video I will uh, discover the advanced mates in SolidWorks assemblies. So here you can see first of all we have the um, a bit mate in uh, advanced mates so let's talk on this mate uh, bit mate is basically used to make uh, the components assembled in the mid of the uh, parts or assemblies so uh, let me show you how it works first of all uh, make the duplicate of this part so to make duplicate of this part press and hold control key from your keyboard then click and drag this part so this is how you can make the duplicate of this part now click on this face then select mate then select this face so this mate is the coincident mate then press ok button again select this face and this face again coincident mate then this face and this face once again it is a coincident mate press ok button again press ok button now uh, for example I am going to make this shaft in the mid of both these components so for that click on mate then scroll down and from here select advanced mates and in the advanced mates from here select width then you can you will see uh, these options uh, with selections so you can select this face or this face so I'm going to select this face and this face so then select this face and this face now you can see uh, this shaft is uh, adjusted or assembled in the mid of uh, both these slashes and uh, these plates now press ok button so this this was the bit mate and uh, there is um, another uh, option in SolidWorks to create uh, the bit mate so uh, before uh, going to that option let me show you one more thing that you can also edit the parts in the SolidWorks assemblies so for that click on the desired part that you want to edit then select edit part from here then uh, the system will ask you to save the assembly and then continue so save and continue then uh, specify the location and save it so now you can see we had saved the assembly and from here you can see the component editing mode is turned on now I'm going to make hole on uh, this face so select this face then from here select sketch make normal to by pressing ctrl plus 8 key from your keyboard then draw a circle like this press escape button now if you want to make this hole in the mid of uh, both these lines select this uh, this midpoint or center point and press and hold ctrl key then select this midpoint release the control key and then from here select make horizontal now you can also define this diameter so uh, define it then uh, go to features tab and from here select extrude cut so um, extrusion length um, specify the extrusion length and then press ok button now if uh, you had uh, done the part editing then click on this uh, this button part editing mode to, uh, to save this part so now we are back in the assembly mode now click on this face cylindrical face of the shaft then select mate and at the moment i am going to make the coincident uh, concentric mate with this hole press ok button now again press ok button and uh, then uh, uh, now I'm going to uh, tell you uh, how to create the bit mate 
by using another way so it is very simple and easy first of all press and hold control key from your keyboard then select both these faces then uh, select both these faces of the shark or you can also select both these faces of the disk and then this face and this face now release the control key and from here you can see uh, width option is um, is turned on on the screen so click width so this was the another way to create width made now um, click on this face then select made then select this face uh, so at the moment this is the concentric made and if you want to lock the rotation check this option or you can also flip the made alignment press ok button now again press ok button after the uh, uh, after the width made we have the path made option here so as it is clear cleared from the path made that this made is used to move the components on the path so let me show you um, uh, first of all let me create a path on uh, in the assembly so this path could be a sketch could be um, the uh, lines like this so let me show you uh, make a sketch on uh, on top lane then make normal to by pressing control plus 8 key then use ellipse to create some path like this then press escape button then press this button to save and exit from sketch mode now uh, uh, let's say I'm going to move this part on this part uh, on this path so for that uh, we uh, need in the path made basically we need uh, two uh, we need two uh, components uh, first of all we have to um, specify the path so this is the path and then we need component vortex so basically the component vortex are the points on the uh, on the component which we have to make the mate with the path so let me show you if I click and then open this part separately in another uh, window so this was the uh, if you want to edit this part uh, separately um, in the another video or uh, if you want to open only this part so instead of going uh, to this option open and then uh, locate the part and then open it we can also open this part by clicking on it and then here in the window like this uh, we can select open part so here you can see we had opened this part separately so now we have to create two points or we have to drop two points on this part to specify uh, that um, this component should move on uh, according to these two points on the path so sketch on this face then make normal to by pressing ctrl plus 8 key then drop a point on this origin or you can also uh, drop the point uh, any of the uh, desired location so now press this button to save and exit from sketch mode now I am going to make another point on this uh, face so sketch on this face then drop the point on the origin now close this part or uh, you can open directly the assembly so here you can see we had updated the assembly now I am going to make the uh, path mate for these two component vortexes click on mate then uh, in the advanced mates select path mate scroll up you can see here uh, we have the component vortex option and then the path so in the component vortex uh, select this point then uh, in the path selection select this sketch so as you can see um, if I drag my mouse or hover my mouse on uh, this sketch the whole sketch is um, changing its color so showing that you can select all the sketch at one click 
so if you are uh, you have you are facing the problem uh, in selecting the sketch you can also use selection manager and then you can select the uh, these paths as per these options so if you have a closed loop select closed loop and then select this sketch and if you have an open loop or an open sketch select uh, this option or multiple selection or for group select this option so uh, i'm going to select the closed loop then select this sketch and press ok button so this path mate has been created press ok button again press ok button now let me show you if i click and drag this part this part is uh, um, moving uh, on the uh, path but uh, it is not aligned with this uh, with the path so as you can see so that is why i had created these two points and uh, i am going to make two path mates for this component one for this uh, com uh, this component vortex and the another is for this component vo vortex so again select mate and then scroll down advanced mates and in the advanced mates select path mate now select this component vortex and this sketch press ok button again press ok button so now if i rotate uh, i move this part and you can see this part is aligned with the path and also moving on the path so this option is uh, rebuild is used for this purpose if you have to move your path then press rebuild now you can see this part is perfectly uh, aligned and also moving on the path so these uh, were the um, advanced mates and i hope you had enjoyed and learned from this video and in the next video i will discover the mechanical mates uh, in the mechanical weights i will only discover gear mate and screw mate so stay tuned and um, uh, if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel thanks for watching and sparing time